Hello and welcome to another match in the Dominion League. This is still season 34. I am still in the D4 division. It's been a while since I've played a match. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but I'm going to have to complete, I think, two and a half matches over the next couple of weeks. So I'll have a few more coming out soon after this one. Uh, today's match is against Bouncy Boy, who I have never played before. And I'm not really sure what we're waiting for at this point. Okay. I'm actually like really tired right now, more like physically than just like sleepy tired because I've been exercising a lot past couple of days more than I normally do, so hopefully I won't like fall over while I'm playing this match. <clears throat> Alright, so here we have quite a lot of trashing with with a uh, priest, bishop, traitor, and most notably probably cathedral. So I think we could potentially skip Sea Hag and Cultist, although um, Cultist might still be good just because you can turn Cathedral from card negative to card positive by trashing Cultists, so that's kind of interesting. Um, there's also, let's see, oh, I have a 5 2. Hmm. Well, well. Oh well. Oh, there's also Sentry. Man. Um, so there's Lost City is the only village. You got bridge trolls. You can potentially do like a bridge troll thing. <sighs> yeah, this is This is tough choice right off the bat here. Um I could see the argument for ball because I end up you take the minus Coin token, I don't really care about that, but I don't know what I would want other than a priest. Maybe like priest black market? Is that better than just like opening cultist or sentry? I don't know. I do not know. Um Hmm. Is skipping Cathedral a good idea with the amount of trashing on this board is another question. Um, that's hard to say, too. I mean, I guess it depends to some extent on whether my opponent picks up Sea Hag or Cultist. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think I, think I actually... I'm going to go for the ball. This seems like fun. Traitor. Huh. Not expecting that. No collision. Yay. Um, so, probably do need to pick up a Lost City um, before I start adding more terminals. I think the question is whether I would like to pick up a Sentry before I pick up a Lost City. I think the answer is yes. Well, if I'm going to get Cathedral, this would potentially be the time to do it. Let's see what Bouncy Boy does. It's really hard normally to justify skipping Cathedral, but... I'm not sure... Need it. And the draw is going to be a 
Well, I guess if you invest in cultists, the draw is actually pretty good. Like if you get, I mean, it depends on whether you start with a lost city in hand or not, basically. Um, or find one with sentry, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I've got a couple other trashers already. I really, I think I can get away with not here. Hmm. Artificer. I wouldn't mind an artificer. Plus buy, potentially also good. Uh, there is Sacred Grove for plus buy. Oh, and Bridge Troll. Never mind. I don't, want, I don't want to do that. I mean, I could definitely use a Lost City. Um, what is Artificer going to do for me right now? Is that going to gain? Not much. Yeah, actually, no, let's just take a Lost City. Unfortunately, the century doesn't give me priest money until after I um, have a lost city to start with. This should be a double trash with century, though. Which be nice. Beans are rats. <laughs> Whoa! All right. All right, so this is either Lost City number two or Cultist. Um, hmm. I think I think Lost City number two, and then we start getting some Cultists. I don't want to be drawing stuff dead. So here I can actually do the Priest into Sentry thing. Oops, <laughs> or I can forget to do it. Oh my gosh, ugh, 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 ugh. We'll just pretend we drew the priest later in the turn. Hmm, wild hunt, that definitely has some appeal Um, as more draw. Although, I mean, you, you, you know, it's basically just an expensive smithy. Um, actually, there's not that many villages. Maybe that's not the way to go. I'm going to have nine. I can still buy a five cost if I buy Dungeon or Oasis. I should be, I should have no trouble being thin. So I think Dungeon isn't going to be like as good. Um, but starting with Lost City is pretty valuable, so maybe, maybe Dungeon is the way to go. Yeah, let's do that. It also helps set up Sentry, which is nice. All right, this time I'll try to remember to play my Priest oh, before my Sentry. Yeesh. Would have bought two five costs if I had done that. I'm going to need to get a bridge troll too, uh, soon as well. In fact, maybe I should have gotten that first because I already drew deck. But that was partially because Bouncy Boy picked up a lost city. All right, well, unfortunately, now I don't have the option to... What I was talking about. Um, all right, let's... I guess just not play the dungeon. Uh, not actually impressed with workshop here. When you buy this, you may buy. So I think the stonemason on buy effect works. Um. Let's try it. 
Yes, yes it does. Okay, so we can go like Lost City Bridge Troll. Um, or Cultist Bridge Troll. Now let's go Lost City. I don't think there's going to be any reason to keep the stonemason around. Actually, stonemason cultist is pretty reasonable. You get some extra payload out of it. We could also consider getting a bishop to trash cultists at some point. I guess I'll discard the silver and make sure I find my other lost city. Yeah. So do I want to just trash the stonemason now? Um, I mean, I can, I can't play the stonemason. Um, price point am I hitting here? I just I don't think I can do enough with the stonemason to make it relevant. Let's trash it. Alright, highway seems real good. And I mean I could use another lost city. Um another bridge troll cultist I am I did run out of actions but now I have a bridge troll in play so I should pick up another bridge troll yeah I've talked a lot a lot of different things that could potentially be done but I think we're pretty quickly approaching the bridge troll mega turn thing here Velocity is, or this, uh, the highway is definitely going to accelerate that to get rid of black market and bridge troll. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Um, sure, we can do this. Yay, we did it. Uh, I guess we do this. We do bridge troll black market. Do we want either of these cards? A merchant does give me more money, so I guess that's fine. Sure. Anything I want to do with forge? Not really. I mean, it does give me extra money, but like, where am I going to get the cards to forge? I feel like there's a there's a way to make forge like really good here, but it's going to be more complexity than I feel like dealing with. So let's just take the merchant. Oh, I don't have the actions to play it. Nope. Oh, well. That'll change. All right, so I need another Lost City. Maybe even two more Lost Cities. Um, and then one more Bridge Troll. Do I need two more? Maybe I can go, like... Cultist Bridge Troll. Oh, I mean, I'm giving out ruins. Do I need to give out more than one per turn? Maybe not. Um, definitely want another Bridge Troll. Yeah, let's just get the Lost City. I mean, I think I've got five now. So if my opponent doesn't grab some more... I'll also just have massive village advantage. Oh, I'll, get, I'll take a curse. That's some more stuff I can trash with my priest.
Uh, so highway merchant, lost city. Uh, priest, crash curse, we can dungeon, discard copper, silver, the sentry, trash, copper, uh, play bridge trolls, play lost city, play black market, distant lands, sure. I mean, maybe duplicate is better. Um, probably is. Like, if the plan is to like get all the provinces, you don't really need the distant lands. Um, I mean, the piles are getting low, but I don't think my opponent has the ability to to drive a third pile quickly enough for it to really matter. So yeah, we'll pick up duplicate. Yank. Have a ruin. All right, so we definitely want another bridge troll. Um, do I want to duplicate that? Or do I want to duplicate a lost city? I guess I can decide that later. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm just going to pile the lost cities. Oh, okay. That works too. All right, so who went first? I went first because I have 11 turns. All right, no landscapes, no um, heirlooms. What I... What a large set of pictures we are confronted with here. I've got a 5-2 again, which is fantastic. Um, in what specific way is it fantastic? Well, I'll certainly get a lighthouse. There are certainly attacks on this board. Um, I tend to think... Oh. All right. Yeah, I tend I tend to agree with Bouncy Boy here that Mountebank is the opener. Um, I definitely want a butcher. We got no villages, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a little awkward. I don't think Chariot Race is going to do a whole lot here. At least, well, not initially. Um, I'm going to have a lot of junk. It's going to be hard to get rid of. And what I'm wondering is if I want to pick up a second lighthouse now. I mean, this lighthouse is going to be in my shuffle. So maybe not. Maybe I just want a silver. I want to be hitting five a lot. And that silver is going to do more to get that accomplished than Chariot Race, I think. So yeah, I'll just uh, oh yeah, lighthouse. Okay, cool. I'm gonna pick up my butcher. My mountebank missed the shuffle, which is actually fine because bouncy boy played his lighthouse. Picks up a cartographer. Makes some sense, but... Wah. All right, so he might... No, oh, no lighthouse. So that means we're playing Mountebank. Okay, so... Do I want... I still don't know that I want another lighthouse just yet. Maybe I will grab a chariot race because at least it doesn't 
can my deck any Hmm. Like I should be hitting five in the next hand, certainly. Well, maybe not, actually. I could have two estates. But oh gosh. That is rough. Okay, so the mount now my lighthouse is going to miss my shuffle, so I will pick up a second light. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so cartographer seems good to just find stuff, so I would like some of those as well. Um at some point probably makes sense to get like second butcher or second mounter bank onto bank. But probably want a few more cartographers. Maybe just want cartographers instead. Not exactly sure. Could also be correct to get some treasuries. Ah, oh, man. Now he has no lighthouse in play. But I'm only hitting three with the mountebank play. Oof. Ah, oh, four. Well, that doesn't help. Hmm. I would like to get rid of these estates. Um. But um, I, I, it's hard to justify not playing Mountebank. Oh, he's got a curse in hand. Well, Nikes. Should have played Butcher, I guess. Not I guess. I mean, well, I, there's no way I could have known. Oh, yeah, Cartographer sets up Chariot Race. I forgot about that. That's some synergy. Huzzah. Look at that. All right, so we can Butcher. Um, state to Chariot Race. Grab another. I do not have a lighthouse in play. He does. Much sad. I guess I can still go ahead and pick up another cartographer here. I don't even have to use coffers to do it. Yeah, definitely an awkward board. A lot of chariot races for my opponent. Uh, I guess we're just discarding those two. Hmm. I think this is a no trash butcher. I mean, what am I butchering copper? In? I mean, I could spend all my coffers to butcher copper to to silver. That doesn't seem great. I get another lighthouse. It also doesn't seem great. I think I'd rather save the coffers for a bigger butcher play.
Somehow only three cur Oh, well, Lighthouse. Not somehow. Yeah, only three curses have been given out. So that's preventing this game from almost being pot. Although there's still only five Lighthouses and two Cartographers, so... Still getting pretty close. Uh, I guess we'll discard those two. Did I know this was going to happen? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. All right, so he's got a lighthouse in play, so we play Butcher. Um, I mean, we could Butcher Curse to Copper. Um, it's not ridiculous. I don't really want a third lighthouse at the cost of coffers. Um, but I think I will spend two coffers on another cartographer. Photographers are definitely helping out a lot. He has a lot more chariot races than I do, but I think I'm better able to set them up. More cartographers. No. No. Lighthouse in play. Nine coins. Wow. Unexpected. Well, I guess it's expected from how many chariot races he won that turn. Hmm. That's a full discard. That's three and give me the lighthouse. Okay. Although it's a little unfortunate to be discarding the other lighthouse, but eh, what are you going to do? So much discard. Got one in play, yikes. All right, so we can take, we can take the last cartographer. Um, I don't think that's crazy, cause like, I wanna keep my coffers around for butchering stuff into province. And like, it just gives me so much reliability. And this game is gonna be slow to end unless somebody drives the lighthouse pile, so. Yeah, I think I will. Let's do that. That's uh okay. I butcher my silver? Probably not. Maybe I just play butcher by province. I could Consider getting another butcher. Talking about it earlier. Ah. Ah.
Uh, yeah, I think I need to just buy profits. Good defense, and thank you for the information. I don't really get the treasury too much. I want to keep that estate for Butcher. I mean, it's a little late at this point, I think. I guess, does he have a lighthouse in play? Yeah, so let's discard the Mount of Bank too. We're really just fishing for area races at this point. And failing. Failing horribly. Okay, well, we can get a lighthouse. Um, it's a little bit awkward. What did he reveal earlier? A chariot race? So this isn't, this isn't going to be any good unless I can get something more expensive on there, and I don't really know that I'm going to have the opportunity. So maybe... Maybe I just seed my next hand with a couple of chariot races and leave it at that. I don't really know that I want to seed with a lighthouse. We'll discard that. Okay, yeah. That looks reasonable. Oh, curse. Curse. Oh, gosh. Disaster. And I'm going to end up drawing it, too. Ugh. Quantity appears to be winning out for the chariot races. Hmm. Onto bank to duchy. Interesting. Not sure I agree with that. All right. I guess we got to discard. A lighthouse? Well, maybe not. Does he have a lighthouse? Dang! Hmm. I've been playing one like every turn. I mean, he does have three, but it's just surprising, even so. Well, he doesn't have the mountebank anymore, so why would I want a lighthouse? Why would I want a lighthouse? Ah, oh, copper. Come on. All right. So, are we at the point where we're scared to buy province? Kind of. Hmm. Kind of wishing I had messed it in the hunting grounds a little bit earlier. Um. Butchering hunting grounds is like super efficient. <sighs> Problem is buying duchy isn't moving the needle very much. I need to 
lengthen the game or have a way of getting multiple duchies. I mean, hunting grounds would do that, but cycling all the way back around to put myself in the position to do that doesn't seem very plausible. I think I'd just take... Eh, at this point, I'd probably still just take province. He's going to need to whiff on province several times anyway for me to have a chance. Or maybe just like once or twice if I'm especially fortunate. Actually, I guess if he finds his butcher, but he just played his butcher. Yeah. So you could butcher to province by province. Now potentially I can do that. I find my butcher. Although butchering to province and buying province doesn't seem super likely with my lack of economy. I have a province in hand, but butchering province to province doesn't really help unless I win at uh, several chariot races. Well, two. He doesn't buy points this turn. But he might well do that. Interesting. Oh no! Brutal! Oh man. Uh, am I gonna end up triggering a shuffle here? Probably oh, am. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What to do about that? Discard. Discard two coppers, top deck a copper, draw a copper, buy a duchy. Have a cartographer in next hand. That might be the best thing for me to do at this point. I think it is. Okay. So we potentially have a really nice turn coming up. So he did trigger a shuffle, so it's possible that he'll butcher his way to victory this turn. Oh god, what curses! Jeez! I have like one curse! I mean, I had lots, lots of copper, that would be just as bad, but like, dang. That was, how many chariot races did he win? One, two, three. Okay, well, it's a duchy's worth of points. That's still way too much. Way too much. Wait, if I, oh no, I can't put your problems to problems, so. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Not at all. Not at all. Big trash curse to a state by Duchy. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to ever put the coppers in my hand anyway. Oh, I can't buy Dutch if I do that, can I? So I don't do that. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna butcher these lighthouses. 
But I mean, I guess I could have set that up, but I was fishing for chariot races. Stop that. Okay, well, I have a duchy on top, so I just play the chariot race. Good to know. Although he might have the win right here. He's got a province. Yep. <sighs> yeah. I mean, he won that basically. Yeah, it wasn't quite on the VP tokens, but it was close enough. I shouldn't have let him get that edge there, I guess. I undervalued the chariot races. Okay, 5-2 again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we can get super thin, super fast with Sentry Monastery as the opening. Um, not even having to get Steward to do the trashing, which is cool. Um, what are the other options? Another option is to open Margrave Monastery. Um, and then you get plus buy, which you can use to trash a little faster with Monastery. Although the problem with that is that you generally aren't um, going to have two things that you want to buy at this stage, unless it's like, you know, silver, silver or something. Um, I don't think there's any... Oh, Oracle Patron can give you coffers, so that's something to keep in mind, I guess. No, it's not. Well, there's Lost Arts, so you can do Lost Arts on Sentry to create a village. Um, and you can get some villagers on Patron. So yeah, I think... Um, I think it's either... I mean, it could, I guess it could be Relic Monastery, too. But I think it's either Margrave Monastery or Sentry Monastery. Um, I think I favor Sentry Monastery, but it's close. But yeah, that's three five twos in a row. My opponent had five two in one of the two games, so that's a lot of five two. All right, so we'll just pick up a silver here. Trashy trash. I want steward. Silver, like the reason I, I I don't really need Steward for trashing right now, so it's mostly just like a, a silver that costs an action. I mean, I could draw with it, but um, it me if I don't have the Steward, then it means I have more terminal space to for like the Margrave when I add that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with not taking a silver here. Right, yep, here we go, Margrave. We are going to want to pick up more sentries, as mentioned, for Lost Arts purposes. Um, I mean, I could do it now, just because I have the money. Is that crazy? I don't have the plus buy. Uh, so, like, using all six on Lost Arts right now seems like a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I mean, is it is it better to put it on Margrave, I guess, is the other question. Um, I don't... 
not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Like obviously, putting it on Margrave means that you still only have like space for one other terminal, but you know, that's probably fine. Margrave is drawn by you. Got pretty much everything you need. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go that direction actually. Not sure if I want to bother with the Devil's Workshop. Um, I mean, I guess it's gaining Bouncy Boy Golds, but it's not going to do that for too long. This is up to eight coins. Up to. It's not like I have to not play the coffers to trash them with Monastery. All right, so obviously we want another Margrave. Oh, well, is that obvious? I mean, I want a Relic. Um, <laughs> could pick up... Hmm, could pick up a Steward. Now that can't draw it dead. Um, Let me just go coins here. I'll leave this entry on top. All right, so now we definitely want another Margrave. Um, do I want a patron? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, patron's fine. Devil's Workshop gaining imps is like. Having a couple of imps would be fine. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll do that. Getting to the point where I should just trash the monastery. Possible. Also getting to the point where it's worth considering taking the Defiled Shrine. Just because it's so easy to deal with. Uh, I mean, possible Bouncy Boy would do it now, but nope. Yeah, I think, I think I'll probably end up doing that. What's the last card? Another silver. Yeah, I want to draw that. That's worth letting him see another card. I am regretting a little bit um, going with Stuart over Oracle just because of the patron thing, but eh, it's probably also too tricky to actually set up. All right, so... We have nine again. I really need more payload. Um, don't, I mean, how much more draw do I actually need? I had to overdraw this turn, so I should probably just take a gold. I could even go like gold silver. 
Uh, I want to get the imp, which I think I do. Yeah, let's go gold, silver. The Defiled Shrine is not as appealing, though, if I'm not buying any of these actions. But... And I'm still going to have overdraw, and I'm going to be adding an imp. Like, there is a chance that I'll have a dud, but... How many more of these points are ever going down? Like maybe a century, another century gets bought. Maybe the patrons. That's pretty much it. So like, I think this is fine. Actually, oh never mind. Pretty bad hand. But I don't think there's any way for me to dud at this point. I should probably pick up that other sentry. Um, I think I'm, am I guaranteed to draw either Margrave or Sentry here? I guess not quite. Even if I don't, that's actually pretty much all right. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you can go like Margrave Sentry. Another imp. Um, you could potentially play with one more imp, but it's pretty greedy. Uh, so, probably we'll just trash the Devil's Workshop now. I should probably try to set it up so that I have steward trashing like Devil's Workshop Monastery it, or or something like that, like having trashed the curse with some with the sentry or monastery or something like that. All right, so the other imp is only for steward. Yeah, let's get that out of here. I don't think it matters if I discard this or not, but discard it. Whatever. All right. Is there any reason that I want this other buy? Probably not. So let's not let him cycle another card, I guess. Imp. Steward. I guess this is it. Trash workshop monastery. All right, so let's go. So we want to eventually get to double province. Um, and I think that'll be fine. So let's do gold century. That'll be 14. Um, oh, and then the steward for coins is 16. Yeah, that works nicely. Hopefully we can use Steward to kind of seed hands with, or sorry, uh, use Sentry to kind of seed hands with uh, Margraves and such as well. 
Mm. Awkward. Do I actually discard a Margrave here? I think I do. Imp Sentry, and then I'm base. I'm virtually guaranteed to find another Margrave. That's actually true. I mean, I get draw three cards, discard another two cards. I see five cards. I guess it's not quite true. So maybe I just discard an imp. Like, I don't need to play the second imp particularly. Yeah. Another steward. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I mean, these are cards I want to draw, but like, yeah, I think I think I just leave these where they are. And then we'll see if I need to play the other Margrave or like if I can accidentally manage to top deck my way into something good for next turn. Although I do need to draw all of my treasure if I want a double province, I guess. That's the issue. Which includes the steward is, I guess, the point. Yeah, but we don't have to play the Margrave. So the other option here, I mean, I can double province, but I don't have to. Okay, well, apparently, Nancy Boy is about to resign. So I was going to say, I would probably actually single province and pick up another deck control card. All right, so we're holding serve so far. Okay, donate. Swindler. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So you can get some actions from Crossroads and some more actions from Acting Troop. You can draw cards with Catacombs. You can get plus buy with Counterfeit. You can get money with a combination of Swindler, Swamp Hag, and Monument. So you can do some things. Um... the opener. Saving to buy a five cost, I would imagine. Uh, oop, oop, uh. I was trying to right click on Swamp Hat, or no, close the, the, the click on. I'm actually surprised the UI allows you to do that. Um, all right, so what am I actually doing here? Um, I don't think buying a crossroads makes much sense unless you're going to also pick up two other terminals. You're going to want to donate. The question is, it, swindling doesn't seem good in front of a donate. Like, maybe you pick up, like, an acting troop or something, but uh, that doesn't give you money. Um, I mean, you could just get a monument... Um, when is the donate happening? What are you donating down to? Complicated stuff. It could just be Monument Silver. Um, maybe buy, like, one other thing and then donate with, like, Monument Silver and, like, 
another silver or something like that. Get rid of down most of the debt that way. Um, sure. I'll grab a monument. The nice thing is if he does go for a swamp pack here. Okay, I don't understand crossroads. Oh, okay, he's saving again. That's why. Yeah, Swindler doesn't seem good until after donate, and maybe not even then, because it might be a little while until a person has enough uh, actions or uh, enough cards in their deck for it to matter. I mean, if you manage to hit one of their opening opening buys, then it's great. But otherwise, it's like who cares. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna get a silver. So this would be a reasonable donate straight up. Um. That just doesn't even affect me. Um, alternatively, I can buy a Swamp Pag. Um, but without a Crossroads. Can't play both Swamp Pag. But I could buy Monument, then buy Crossroads, then... Donate. Hmm. Um. I mean, the alternative is. I mean, if I donate down to like Monument Silver. I only have four coins. That's not exactly outstanding. I mean, at that point, I can... I pay off two debt by a crossroads. Then the next turn, I buy a swindler, I guess. And then the turn after that, I can buy a swamp hag. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I'd rather get the swamp hag now. I think. And this is most of my money, so my next turn is not going to be very good. But like I said, I can buy Crossroads. Save, save a, an estate, buy a Crossroads, and then donate next turn. I think that's the way to go. That's a lot of debt. Wait, you just save before buying donate? That makes no sense. <laughs> I don't even know what happens to that card. But I don't think it makes any sense in any case, because you, you do donate down to the point where you, you're going to have that card in your hand anyway. Three coppers and three estates. Well, that's a lot of copper to hang on to. Right. Boom. Boom. Swindler useless. Mwah. All right, so I mean, we can play this crossroads, but it doesn't matter. Ugh, lag. All right, so I could buy. Could buy something that gives me money. Next turn, I'm going to have four, which is going to be enough to buy. Well, I want to buy another swamp pack, but I'm going to play the swamp pack again next turn. So maybe I'd rather buy an acting troop now. And buy like a swindler or a monument next turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna buy a swamp pack next swamp pack next turn. So maybe I should buy Swindler this turn. Um 
I'm also going to need to get a counterfeit. Charges of crossroads, have an estate. Pretty good. He still has villagers, so not the end of the world for him. Um... Should I just get a counterfeit now? I can counterfeit my silver away, which I don't mind doing. Um, put off buying the Swamp Hag for another couple turns. I'll still have five coins on the turns and the Swamp Hag isn't down and I'll have plus buy. Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. What is the card that I am going to swindle? An estate? Oh, he got lucky there. All right, so. So, so, so. Um, I think we do, we are all ultimately gonna want an acting troop. Don't necessarily need it now. Um. Let's get a catacombs as well. Oh, I got a curse. Huh. That just happened. Well, you can get an altar. And turn those curses into profits. Mad profits. And rip Swamp Peg. Touchy, okay. I am gonna need to pick up an acting troop for sure. This turn. Um, do I want to pick up another Swamp Hag, or do I want to pick up an Acting Troop? I mean, I've got the Monument and the Swindler that I can play, so I think an Acting Troop is probably what I need. Um, of course, I'm not going to draw it unless I discard with Catacombs, and if I do that, um, I trigger a Shuffle that doesn't have my Crossroads in it isn't really ideal. So maybe I do pick up the Swamp Hag and then I just buy an Acting Troop. I kind of that costs fewer coins. Oh, I also don't have the actions to play both of these cards. That's fine. Let's play that. All right, you can also have a Duchy, especially since you have no Crossroads. All right, let's get that Acting Troop. A oh, weird board. Hey, that's nice. I wonder if I'm going to alter this duchy. I could definitely see it being correct. Um.
Yeah, it's looking pretty correct. Crashes a swindler. Ah, silver. I mean, you can counterfeit it, but... You not being able to swindle my cards is pretty valuable. Um, all right, I think we need another Catacombs, and now we probably need another Crossroads, even though it doesn't draw any cards. Because, wow, we have two Crossroads in the four cards that aren't in my hand. That's okay, because I have Villagers. I'm buy another Acting Troop this turn. Oh, apparently Bouncing Boy got an altar at some point. I don't even know what we're building towards, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, so you got a Swindler back. Yeah, that's pretty much what I want to see. All right, so what's the last card? Uh, I really should be able to figure that out. Other Crossroads. That is a great card to leave on top of my deck. Okay. Um, Band of Misfits is actually pretty reasonable here. I mean, I could use another Swamp Pag, of course, so I can have alternating Swamp Pags. And maybe that's what I should do. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Monument, Swindler, Trash is Copper, I have another Curse, Ray. Um, we definitely want to save our catacombs and buy maybe just two acting troops. Yeah, gotta get them villagers. Alter catacombs to catacombs is also certainly a thing we can look to do. Um, but of course I would rather get rid of the curses first. Um, that looks fine. So we can play another Catacombs. Play some Acting Troops. That's pretty many Villagers. Um, maybe I'm not altering anything this turn. But play Swamp Hag. Monument Swindler. No, not the catacombs. Too good. We should just take Acting Troop, I think. Almost out of villagers. Crossroads. Hmm. Huh? Change his mind. Why would I deny that? Hmm. Silver. Okay. Duchy. All right. So now we're going to end our actions. Play that, save a crossroads. I think just buy another acting troop. Um, yeah. Might be able to do the Alter Catacombs thing this turn. No, not my acting troop, no. Give it back. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> he did. A little surprised. I mean, I guess maybe he thinks counterfeit silver is more valuable, but I want the, the villagers um, before they're gone. <laughs> Like, you only get so many times you get to play all these terminals, and then... Pfft. There comes the other donate. I was wondering if he was going to need to do that. I was looking for a while like he wasn't, but... I don't know how many curses he has. Since he had three, that's pretty many curses. I'm getting rid of just about all this copper. And all of his estates as well. I did swindle into an estate or two. Right, there's three curses of copper and a duchy. Okay. Um, so I guess we maybe just don't play that acting troop this turn. Seems fine. So we go Swamp Hag, Swindler, Monument, and then Altar Catacombs. Ashes of Silver. <sighs> I mean, Counterfeit Silver is pretty good. Um... He has no villagers. I don't want to give him any. Um, and then, yeah, so we'll... Well, I could save a catacombs. Is that better than altering the catacombs and saving crossroads? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think so. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna get another acting troop, another catacombs, save the crossroads. I can just deny the rest of the acting troops, actually. That looks like a good plan. So now my opponent has a very limited supply of villagers to work with. Okay, so he did have a village uh, acting troop in his deck, but. Um, so that doesn't draw me anything, but I get to play, I get a Catacombs on top, I get to play my Swindler, I don't get to play Swamp Hag though, that's the problem. Yeah, I want to play Swamp Hag, for sure. Um... So, yeah, that's that's leaving a crossroads on top, which is totally fine. All right, let's just pop all the acting troops forever. Crash is a swamp peg, have another duchy. Don't need to alter anything. Um, we could potentially save the altar, or we can just start provincing. Um, like, I have exactly enough money to do it. The crossroads can potentially draw me through the green. Um, I mean, we're not that far from piling, but with only two buys. I mean, I could add more counterfeits to my deck, but they're pretty uninspiring um, as, like, when they don't have treasures to trash. Um, what are the other options? I mean, counterfeit silver is actually coin positive. So like buying a silver, buying like silver catacombs is pretty reasonable. Yeah, maybe that's better. You can always like alter catacombs to catacombs to get more silvers. Yeah, I like that. I mean, not always. Obviously, there's an outer bound to that, but um, you can do it. Crash is my silver, so he can give me a swindler, um, which I would have actually considered in his position. Because can't counterfeit swindler, but
I mean, I don't know if the signaling of me buying s silver instead of Swindler is like enough to say like, oh, well, obviously that means silver is better for his deck than Swindler. Or if you say like, no, I disagree with his evaluation. Whoa. Bouncy Boy has a gold. Amazing. Of course, even with that, he has to have exactly all of those cards in play to be able to hit Province um, because he's not going to be counterfeiting silver again unless he replaces it. So I feel pretty okay with my not buying Province last turn. I do want my Swamp Hag. Wait, did I forget to save last turn? Oh, no, I, I had exactly eight. That was what it was. Um, <laughs> do want to see that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to take this. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... All right, so we play, we alter, trash catacombs, gain silver, gain catacombs, play swindler, trash is a counterfeit. Hmm. I don't know how many duchies I want to be giving him. Three duchies in the trash. He has one. Um, I could give him Band of Misfits. I think, given his limited villager situation, that's pretty okay. I could also give him like another swamp. How many swamp hags does he have? He has no swamp hags. All right, well, I don't want to give him swamp hags, so let's give him Band of Misfits. All right, so now we play Swamp Hag, Monument, and Actions, Counterfeit, a Silver. Save Crossroads by Province. I want to buy another silver. Well, it alleviates the need to alter catacombs if things go poorly or if I just draw poorly. So I think that's probably a good idea to buy another silver. No, no. <laughs> Blah. Okay. Um, do I just take another silver? I could replace my crossroads. I think I'll replace my crossroads. Okay. I don't think giving me a duchy is particularly safe. I can alter that estate into back into a catacombs too. So that's that all actually works out pretty fine. Catacombs is kind of swindler def defense. Raider. Oh. Yeah, I want those cards. Sure. I mean, what's the last card? I can draw it with the crossroads. Um, last card is another silver. Which I don't necessarily need this turn. Um, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, well, okay. I do want it this turn. It's a duchy. Just kidding. Damn it. <laughs> Ugh, damn it. And additionally, I could have 
gain a card off of altar. Well, that's a lot of mistake making. And the misfits, okay. Um, do I have a comfortable enough lead that I'm okay giving him a duchy now? I th think so. Um, all right, so we can buy province and we can save province. Actually, let's save a duchy. I would rather have province get hit by swindler and buy another catacombs. So game could definitely end on my turn if I buy two things, I take two curses. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. Like I literally, he's got a Swamp Pack in play. Yeah, I literally just play. Um, all right, so we do like Monument, then we Alter, Catacombs, Gain, then Estate. And the duchy. Let me buy a duchy. Yeah. Okay. That went well. Weird board, but I guess I managed to navigate it okay. Okay, so, oh, I broke serve, that's nice. <clears throat> so we have Mining Village and Crossroads, and we have Inventor, but we don't really have Draw. Um, and when I say we don't really have Draw, I mean we definitely do not have Draw. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. So we can do some things with an inventor, but we can't just like win the game solely with inventor. Um, Jack Market Square is kind of interesting. And the odds that they line up aren't that great, but if you want to just sort of play like a money ish thing. Where's the plus buy for that? Doesn't really exist. I mean, there's contraband, but like, then they ban province, and turns out you can't buy provinces if you can't buy provinces. Oh, uh, there's Market Square, actually. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good job. I'm like, Jack Market Square, but where's the plus buy? I don't know. I can't find it. Um, yeah, I mean, granted, like, your hand size is still going to limit you, but... Um, I don't know. I like the opening. I think we can probably skip over Marauder, given that. Hopefully we can skip over Marauder. Exploration, sure. I mean, eh. Maybe I buy Exploration here. Maybe I just buy Mining Village. I 
like how often do I expect to actually get value out of exploration? Like really not often at all. I'm gonna be buying three costs all the time with Market Square on the board. So I think I just buy Mining Village. Yay. So this exact turn would have been where, you know, I mean, I could get a crossroads, but not pretty good. I could delve, but I'm going to have enough silver from Jack that I don't really want to. I just really would like to be able to buy another market square is what it comes down to. I guess I'm not going to get to do that. Blech. All right. Is Market Square better than Mining Village here? Probably. Means an inventor. Well, that's another consideration as well, right? Inventor can gain me those Market Squares. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Hmm. This is looking like it's suspiciously like a jack that doesn't trash. Um, I saw an estate. I have an estate in those three cards. Yeah, screw the getting the gold. Let's just make sure. All right, so we got seven. That's enough for market square and mining village. Getting a bishop is not crazy. Um, obviously, my opponent's already done it, but um, like, just you know, getting some additional value out of these silvers definitely makes some sense. All right, so I could actually pick up an artisan here, in which case maybe I want another mining village rather than another market square because I need villages to support terminals. Yeah, I think I can get that line of reasoning. Inventor Artisan. That's cool. Yay, trash copper. Okay, I guess we'll play the mining village. Oh my. Um Am I gonna want to? Am I even gonna draw? I have an estate and those five cards. I'm gonna play one market square. Yay! You did it. Okay. Um, let's just. Um, <laughs> Get two more market squares, probably. I don't want to add more stop cards. I do want to add an... Well, I do want to add another inventor, but I... Well... It's going to be hard to trash with Jack now. That's a bit of an issue. Maybe I actually do want a bishop of my own for that reason. Hmm... Like, if I want to activate the market squares... You can definitely do like a market square, like to gain gold when you trash bishop for gold and sort of thing. Um, I think I'm just going to get a couple more market squares first. And we'll... I mean, it's definitely possible that the play here is um, just like hey, you stuffed a bunch of gold in your deck with some market squares, why don't you buy some provinces, maybe some other points. There's also Delve, so like you can transition to money very smoothly. You know, if you hit at least 10, you're putting some money into your deck while you're buying points. So that might be three bishops, my gosh. My gosh. All right, so... Well, maybe I don't even need <laughs> my own bishop. At least not yet. Let's go Market Square Mining Village. We can pick up another inventor. 
guess I will get rid of the copper. Oh yeah, sure. Hmm. Um, I guess we're gonna gain. I mean, we can just transition to getting provinces right now. Um, gain mining village, top deck copper, draw the copper, play the inventor, gain like another inventor by province. The least clever thing, but I don't know. I don't have any great other ideas. Should consider getting another jack, I guess. Like, if he keeps playing these bishops, it's gonna play into draw to X stuff, even though jack is really normally really bad at draw to X. Um, in this case, like, do I wanna do this? <laughs> sure. All my mining villages. That wasn't really what I was hoping for. Okay. Um, yeah, so do I want to gain another jack? I think I do. I don't want a crossroads. Stop there. Yeah, get rid of these coppers. Pretty nice. I forgot about all my mining villages, though. Like, what am I doing this turn? Um, playing artisan, I think. Gain a third jack. Top deck a jack. I want to delve. Really? There's another mining village. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> A weird game this is turning out to be. Yeah, we'll keep that. All right, let's actually. Well, hmm, I, I think I need to make sure I have enough mining villages. We're getting to the point where crossroads could start to make sense, but. I don't think we're there. I wonder if I should actually trash Silver here if he plays Bishop. Probably not. Well, he's not going to be doing so anyway. Oh, he uses Villager. All right, so we can buy province, mining villages, running low. Let's pick up another one of those so that when I gain more jacks, it doesn't degenerate into lack of terminal space. Hmm. Awkward. Well, it's not like I have a jack in hand anyway. Oh, well, 
well, now I have a drag. All right, so let's invent. Oh no. Let's invent market square, I guess. Keep that. Um. I guess we play the jack first, even though let's card that or keep that. And I can't hit province anyway. Well, it's hard for me to discard. Okay, or bleh. draw a card that's worse than silver is what I was going to say. Possible, but unlikely. All right, so now we can play Inventor, gain another Jack or another Market Square. And we can always play Market Squares to find Jacks, so. Guard that. Do not trash. Buy a Province. And buy a Duchy. Seems like that might be a good idea, actually. Um... Now we do not want a duchess, however, um, but we might want a crossroads. This point. I will admit it's a little silly that with all the uh, Gold gaining I've done. Well, hmm. Can shove another. Um. Pull into my deck. The pi the piles are kind of low, but like also kind of not really. Hmm. What are the odds that I draw a mining village? I mean, I played a lot of mining villages last turn. Four mining villages. Maybe I probably do have another one in there, but I think we we can actually, you know what? We'll do that. We'll gain duchy. We'll top deck silver. It'll be fine. Acceptable. No jack in hand, so once again, I guess I won't trash silver to um fish up. Oh, it is tempting. I definitely would have gotten some value out of exploration had I bought it. Maybe I should have, but... Oh well. So tempting. Ooh. I mean, pretty much all my stop cards are gold. Like, so if I draw them, well, no, that's not true anymore. I have some significant amount of green. Yeah, never mind. If I had the jack in hand, I would do it, but I don't. Played that terminally with no villagers. I mean, you can get another villager if he's willing not to buy anything. I wonder if I should be 
actually my mining villages now. I mean, am I going to make it through my deck again? Probably not. I have plus buy. Yeah, let's trash that. No, we will not. Get rid of the market square. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I get to 11, isn't really doing much for me. I mean, it, this did, well, trashing the one did earn me a province. Um, what are the odds that he can outscore me if I buy province here? Like, if I if I trash, I mean, I can buy, like, province estate. And that's, you know, something. Um, it's too bad I don't have 13. I could also buy double duchy. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I am a little worried about the bishop coming through on, like, a gold or something. Although, does he have any gold? But, I mean, even, like, a silver or, uh, like, a four cost or something would be pretty bad for me. So, this is fine. Okay, so now we have the jack in hand, although we also have province money in hand. So, depending on what Bouncy Boy does here. I don't know. I don't think it's going to make any sense to trash silver. He's going to have to use up all of his... Oh, no, not quite all of his coffers to buy province. But he could double duchy like I did. Or double duchy, okay. Seems a little risky, because if I hit province, which I'm going to... Uh... What can I... I mean, I might as well keep that, right? Like... No real reason to... toss it. And then potentially draw an action card dead. I mean, I guess if I had drawn, like, a silver or gold, I could have added an estate, but... I Feel pretty okay with this lead. Yeah, he has to play the artisan terminally because he has no villagers. So um do I inventor or jack first? I mean I guess hmm. I want to get that last province. Um, Inventor can help me do that. Actually, if I can get two duchies, that also does the trick, basically. Hmm. Hmm. But the jack would be played terminally. I think I'm going to play it safe here. Back. Okay. So we uh, we have six. We can just artisan for like silver or I guess I could have artisan for gold if I'd played the inventor first. Um, but no one ever said I was smart. Okay, well, slight miscalculation there at the end, but I think my general approach was was better. Bishop, like, I, I think there's a deck to be built there with, like, the combining the market square gold gains and the bishop. I'm not sure that it would win anyway. Um, 
but I think it might have done better than what Bouncy Boy did. Not that there was like a ton of room between what he did and what I did, so I mean it might just be like also competitive. Okay, so Mountebank, the Fountain Enabler, value. So I think here the open is Jack, but you also pick up a Sacrifice. Um, maybe it's just Jack Silver. You try to get, like, you go for Mountebank first or Torturer? Because, like, Torturer Villa is pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, and you can do Prince of Torture if you have a Bridge Troll in play. That is pretty outstanding. Definitely want to be hitting five here. Mm. All right. I think, yeah, it's got to be sacrifice of research. Like, the Jack's going to trash the estates, so... That does not look like a five coin hand. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so there, what are the options here? Um, just pick up another filler, pick up City Gate, um, pick up another Sacrifice. Um, like research, I guess. Hmm. 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 I think I'm gonna go with City Gate. We get plenty of silver. I don't need more of that. All right, yeah, so first five, is it Mountebank, Torturer, or possibly even Bridge Troll? You know, if Bridge Troll's into play, you can, like, buy all the villas. And you can get all the Bridge Trolls. And you can play all the Bridge Trolls and win the game. So that's pretty good. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we don't need that estate. It's a top deck copper. I'm oh, sorry, we don't need the copper. We won't top deck estate. Whatever. Yeah, so torture. Well, yeah, like I said, torture com combos so well with Villa. I think it's the better choice. Net. Oh, well, actually, we can top. Deck the jack, potentially. Um, or top deck sacrifice and throw it away. Um, we have no more estates in here, so we're going to hit five if we do that. If we top deck jack, we can't hit five either way. So I guess... Yeah, I guess we do this. Wait, could I have drawn a copper and failed to hit five? Maybe I could have. Maybe I'm just wrong. All right, so he picked up a bridge troll, which is understandable. But I think I want to make sure I'm seeing these torturers. I did forget about the option to play, like, Jack. Um and sacrifice with Villa, but eh. I don't think that would have been worth anyway. I'd rather add more torturers to my deck. I want all the torturers, basically. Uh, 
Let me see. Nope. All right. Well, we can top deck a silver and buy a torturer. Ugh. Where are my torturers? Where are my dragons? Okay, that's more like it. So, no matter what I top deck. So we should play another copper because we can take advantage of that. Um, we play the jack. Brilliant. I've got another torture in there. So. Now the question is, do I buy another villa to play sacrifice? I think so. All right, I have eight. Actually, nine. Yeah, 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 that works out. By torture. All right, yeah, we do gain curse here, like he did. Probably going to be gaining another one. Jack is going to get rid of some of them, of course. Sacrifice can too, though it's not doesn't particularly enjoy it. Eventually, these curses are going to be gone, and then Mountebank is going to be good. <laughs> give, give people copper. Great. This card's a torturer. Why? By Villa, play the torturer. All right, hopefully, I can get the last couple torturers. Oops. Um, not looking like I can get both of them, unfortunately. I did not draw my other torturers. Most annoying. I mean, I can get more. I can, I can basically break even on money by buying this villa, so I guess I might as well do it. Um, I guess I sacrifice curse because I don't need to sacrifice. Oh, but I do have multiple buys. Um, but what do I buy with seven? Nothing. Nothing at all. So let's get that torture. I wonder if it's better to discard and then play Jack first. No, if that was going to be the case, we want to gain curse, then discard, and then the Jack can trash the curse. Oh, all right. Oh. Oh. All right, so I think we split the tortures evenly, despite the fact that I went in much harder for them initially. But maybe I got six. All right, so I think I just play all the treasure here. Set up the jack. Man. Not finding the tortures very well, very well here. I mean, I guess that's partially what comes of having all this silver in my deck. I have 12, which is just short of Bridge Troll Prince. 
Um, I definitely do want a bridge troll. Um, might also want to research. Hmm. Or is it better to just get two bridge trolls? Not sure. I want the research to thin out the help thin out these coppers. The sacrifice isn't doing a very good job. Um Yeah. We can also research silver is reasonable. It's not like I really want silver in my deck anyway. Hello, torture. That's got to be a gain curse. No. Uh... And I guess I could discard Sacrifice Copper, but he's probably going to give me another one. So we do have to watch piles actually like really carefully. Holy crap. I just realized. Uh, three villas, two curses. Yeah, we could definitely like win the game on this. He can't win the game now, but we could win the game our turn if he takes too many curses. All right. So... Ooh, this could actually be bad. I might not hit four here, which would be really egregiously bad. Oh. oh, that's really bad news. That is really bad news. Wow. <sighs> Okay, well, nothing to be done about it, really. Um, how many coppers have I trashed? One. Um, I mean, I could buy a copper and set, try to set myself up for a fountain as, like, my win condition, or part of my win condition, but honestly, like, nah, it's, I'm too far away. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. All right, well, I can't take... Can't really afford to take curses here. I think you can just win. And I do have the jack in hand, so I guess I discard copper research and hope like hell he doesn't get to play another torturer. Oh boy. Not good, not good, not good. Well, if you had another torture, I assume we'd play it. Gaining even one more cur one curse is a huge risk at this point. I should have anticipated this from further out. Oh my god. Uh Like, if I gain a curse, all he needs is three buys and eight coins. Seven coins, actually. Oh, man. But, like, if I don't gain a curse, like, what do I even do? What do I even do? Well, I guess I just play Jack. I mean, he could deny the villas, though, and then what do I do? Oh, my gosh. Mm. This really sucks. I can't believe it. I couldn't even hit four last turn. Like, where were my silvers? I played Jack enough times. Um, I mean, right now he has one buy. So he's still going to have to... Well, no, that's not even true. You buy Villa, you buy Villa, you buy... Cur yeah, I just... I it, oh my god. Alright, I guess... I mean, if he doesn't... 
If he doesn't have the money, then he doesn't have the money, but he's pretty close to having the money. He's got six cards in hand. Uh, yeah, this is all I can do. It's so bad. If he plays another torture... Oh. Well, that should be game. Actually, it's not, because he can't... Of course, he did just deny the villas, but he can't. If he empties curses, he loses. <laughs> wow. Turns out I probably should have kept torture rather than. Jack. Okay, so I can buy pro Oh, I can't buy province. Ah, oh, it's fucking a bridge troll. There's just like no way he doesn't win this coming turn. Man, it's so frustrating. <laughs> There's all my treasure. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, he doesn't win unless he has... <laughs> I just realized he, if he only has the two buys, then he can't empty the curses and still have a points lead. Amazing. Okay. Well, I guess we top deck Villa. Um, but we still can't buy anything. He doesn't have the bridge troll in play. I mean, there's no point in buying an estate. Research. Okay, I mean, you didn't need to play the jack. You already won. Yeah, that... I... Yeah, I, I mean, I should have... I should have paid more attention to the pileout situation. Um, early, earlier in the game, um, and set myself up for it better. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't think it was like, oh, my deck is worse or something like that. I think it is just like I had bad timing. Um, I mean, I, I don't think either of our decks were particularly better or worse, but I had really bad timing on failing to be able to buy a villa and that cost me the game. That's what happens sometimes with Villa. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, still still a good result overall. Um, I won 4-2, but uh, I think I probably needed to win a little bit more to, like, to really have a good chance of beating out Cava Sapien for um, the division standings. I haven't checked them in a little while, so I could be totally wrong about that. Either way, thanks for watching, and I will be playing another division uh, or another league match soon, as well as a uh, Dark Age match, Dark Ages mix match tomorrow. Till then.